I have a stand on a smoking dolly, but I guess there's nothing I can throw out of that. I'd like to welcome you to the body of Skip with the Bummock Queen, the Air Force Road of Fancy, to the USIMSO of the Pilate Lake, and the Hyken, Mr. Bill Trey. Welcome to the body. Mr. McQueen is going to do the pleasure of Hyken today, and uh, we just tried to have him because we've got a couple of flyers involved. Uh, the leader of this year is Mara Moon, and a marvelous performance, and uh, the second medal that he's won, Mr. Middlefield. Mr. McQueen, Mr. McQueen, Mr. McQueen,
to learn and pay from the Memorial Paper for the best and fairest in big rights was one that was given by John Harris here in the United States. Well, I'd just like to thank you, uh, friends and family, for donating the I'd like to thank uh, my teammates. Thanks, Brian. Uh, it's all right. They right. helped me win it. They gave me the ball, mate, because I know you can get it yourself. Uh, and I'd just like to wish you all the best of luck, and hopefully we can have a championship to the Mar Medal and get the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, good thanks, Don. Uh, I agree with Don. I had five chances to get goals with Atlanta, and also his great but I could never find a stick. Uh, first of all, I'd have to thank uh, Tony Paul, the coach of the B grade this year. He's done a mighty effort. He's had a lot of action to back up and down, and, and, uh, and the red put his up on it hard. At times, the good job, it? But, uh, the day, I'd like to wish the best to TP and it. And the way the weather is, I think it could be anybody's game. So, it's best of luck to both sides. Thanks very much. Thank you, Trevor. Congratulations. So, what next is all this, I think, for the most of the No, I love this one. The Trevor Rocco is going to be the best of the three of Sandra O'Dean. The I'd just like to thank Bill and Toby and Chuck Stewart, Bill and 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 well done. Um, so, the yeah, the 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 uh, as put by the captain on the side, the 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 and uh, I'd like to thank all the supporters and the rest of us. Thank you. Did you hit Harris down the other end there? Yeah, up the middle. Oof. Well done, Tony. Up there. Well, I'm actually right. Well, I'm glad I didn't say that. Well, I'm going to be very proud of you. Well, I'm going to be very proud of you. Well, I'm going to be very proud of you. Well, I'm going to be very proud of you. Well, I'm going to be very proud of you. Well, I'm going to be very proud of you. Well, I'm going to be very proud of you. I'd uh, like to thank the donor for the program, and I'd like to thank the help in seven years, and I'd like to thank you. Thank you very much. We've got the first old year in the management of the program for the program, and we've got the first time in my room in there. Uh, uh, it's been run around the coast, and run by two boys, and it's been run by two boys, and it's been run by two boys, and it's been run by two boys. What, what? Oh, jeez. Well, I'd just like to thank Daniel Stokey and Ian Sonna and Gallagher to take this with you. What? Good on you, Chris. Thank you very much. We're all looking to take this with the best. Pretty good evening, Mr. Lee. Who did the lead number 15? The one by the Yeah, what is it? 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 Yeah, what is it
I'll bet he wasn't looking. <laughs>
He can't be. 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 to the 1987 grand final between Yolanda and uh, the Kapini Tigers. Down goes the bounce. Kapini has won the toss. They will kick to the southern end under a uh, very stiff breeze, a northwesterly about a 15-20 knot breeze at this stage. Very hot conditions here for the 1987 grand final. Scrimmage in the centre of the ground. Umpire comes in to bounce the ball. Comes straight down to Grant Nelligan, the skipper of the Tigers. His ball comes to the half forward line. Kim Green will be first one there. He gets a handball across to Myers, but it's over his head. He butters up again, but it's on the ground. Plays into it, but Green gets it across to his brother in uh, Rodney Green across to Anderson. Anderson will find Tom Phelps in the in the forward pocket where a strong mark has been taken by that player. Tom Phelps, approximately 45 metres out on a very tight angle, but he'd have the wind right at his back and he should have no problem in getting the distance. All he needs is the accuracy. Tom Phelps' kick looks pretty good off the boot. Looks okay from here. Yes, it's six points to the Tigers. They're off to a good start, and they have one goal on the board at the one and a half minute stage. As I said, very hot, blusty conditions here for, for the grand final. Players will uh, We'll know they've played a grand final after this uh, 120 minutes of football. After the drubbing of the B grade of 107 points, I guess this A grade side will not want to go down in a similar fashion. Down goes the bounce down. Sampson opposed to Sellen. Sellen gets the tap down, it goes to Pierce and is tackled very strongly. Bit of a scrambly passage in the middle of the pack. A free kick sorted out and Stephen Pike will receive it. Pike quickly the, the boots the ball and comes down to... to uh, Centre side of half forward where Rodney Green takes a good strong chest mark. He pick, uh, plays on quickly. Ball comes out. Uh, Tiller drops the ball. Bit of a scrimmage then on the half forward flank. Players going in heavily. No one seems to come in with it and the umpire indicates he will have a bounce on Kapini's half forward right. About uh, 40 metres out from the Tiger goals. Goes the bounce. Tiller gets the tap out. 
goes to no one in particular. It comes out to uh, the Yolanda Skipper and Proctor. Proctor's kick goes wide to the other side of the ground where Kay and Morris Nelligan. Uh, but uh, the boundary line uh, will beat those two players. So we have a boundary throw in approximately between centre wing and uh, half forward flank for the Tigers. Probably the wind is blowing into that dead pocket over there. Comes out to Yolanda. Yolanda in uh, Watson gets a kick up to. Uh, is that Martin? Um, comes back to uh, Shane Nelligan, where Proctor takes a mark. He quickly plays on, brings it across to the centre of the ground, in looking for Pearson, who takes a very strong mark in front of uh, Steve Myers. A little bit of a dust up there. It was a, a little dust up between Habner and Turnbull on that stage, but uh, Proctor doesn't look all that. Uh, Pearson doesn't look all that good. He copped a heavy one there at centre half forward. And he looks very groggy at this stage. He's getting attended to by the trainers. Play will be held up for some time as uh, players sort themselves out and just see if uh, Rodney Pearson is OK. Yolanda going for back-to-back -back premierships. They won it last year. The Tigers won it in 84, uh, 85. So these two sides have dominated. Kick from Yolanda goes out to the half forward line whereas players stack on the ball it's very heavy tackling going over umpire comes in and uh, we'll have a, a bounce on in the half forward line for Yolanda side down goes the bounce players fly for it comes out to Lyle Phelps gets a hurry kick on the ground but uh, the ball will beat players out of, out of bounds once again on the far side of the oval on about uh, half forward line for the United Atlanta side Ball about to be brought back in from the far side of the ground. The Ruckman can test. No one actually wins it down to Colin Kay. He's looking forward, looking for somebody like Brian, his brother. Lyle Phelps is there, picks up, gets a quick hurry kick away. Rodney Green leading to the race of the ball. Hotly pursued by Jolly. He gets a better bounce. Handball to Paul Martin. He's looking upfield. And Stephen Glover chips in, takes a mark in front of Shane Nelligan. He's off onto his left. Looking for Mark second, Wynn catches it, Howe takes a good mark, plays on, looking out here for Anderson. He drops what he should have probably taken, and they're both in there together, and I think there'll be a ball up, pretty evenly contested. So there'll be a ball up here on the half forward flank, United Jelana. Anderson and Glover contesting, the wind carries the ball away from both, Mark goes through, gets a free over the shoulder, and we... Martin from the wing here. Miss kicks the ball very badly and out of bounds right here in front of our commentary position. Sampson and Sellon to contest the ruck. Proctor's up there as well. Martin's onto the ground. Shane Nelligan kicks it out wide. Neil Carr's trying to get there, but it eludes him and it's out of bounds for another throw in. Sampson and Sellon again. Sampson gets it tapped and elegant. Norton meets the ball, kicks it long to the half forward line, looking for Brian Kay. He's out manoeuvred. Rodney Pearson back on, gets a nice left foot kick round to Habner. He can't quite pick it up. He's on the ground now, trying to get it out. He handballs straight to Shane Nelligan. He gets a kick out. Anderson, <coughs> Selling trying to get the ball forward. Bit of hard one. Anderson comes out with a with a ball. A long kick. There's Kim Green. Bad bounce over his head. Dave DeCoe looks for Shane Fox in the middle. He picks the ball up. Gets around one. Looking forward for somebody. And it's Colin Kay. But I think that the ball will beat him to the boundary line. The wind's pretty strong here and blowing nearly straight across the ground. Carries the ball quite a distance. Very blasty conditions here on for the 1987 Grand Final. A lot of hard bodies going in, so uh, there'll be no beg your pardons here, so whoever wins this game will know that they've, uh, they've really earned the, the right to be Premier's 87. Ball is brought back into play. No one can really get a, a kick away, but uh, Yelena, player, hurriedly kicks it out of bounds, and there'll be a free kick to be taken on the outer side of the ground, which will uh, no doubt have most of the play there this afternoon. 
we have this afternoon, the two umpires from our neighbouring association in uh, uh, Stringer and uh, Waters from the Lee Hunt League. So uh, it's uh, Stephen Green to bring the ball back in for the Tigers. His kick comes down to the centre wing position. In front was Kim Green. He is. Uh, been tackled, we're not in possession of the ball and he will take a free kick just for the centre wing. Kim Green had a brilliant year this year, it was probably hot favourite for the male medal but uh, sort of didn't get real close to it. His kick comes up to the true centre half forward to a strong mark, it's been taken by Glover. Glover puts a kick into his captain uh, Proctor, Proctor marks the ball, goes across to the centre wing, out into that dead uh, out into that dead side of the ground where a, another boundary flow in will take place. Ball brought back in. Sellin and Sampson. No one gets a tap ball, but Yolanda picks the ball up. Goes straight to uh, to Stephen Green, who brings the ball back, looking for his brother in uh, Rodney, but eludes both those players. Yolanda, through the agency of uh, Carr, Gets a handball across to Norton. Norton dodges and weaves. Finally gets a kick. Goes straight across to the centre wing where it's uh, taken by Lyle Phelps. Lyle Phelps wobbly old kick comes into the centre of the ground. He will find Anderson. Anderson turns around. Finally has a kick. It's a wobbly old kick to centre wing. Uh, he is tackled. Back with Jolly. Jolly got the fit of the fumbles. In comes Green, a bit heavy on the on Terry Jolly at that stage. So uh, a free kick to uh, to the centre half back flank. Jolly kicks it straight up to uh, the centre position, but uh, Lyle Phelps once again takes him up. Here's nice kick comes down to the centre half forward position. Players fly for it. Comes to ground. Tiller is uh, tackled. We're not in possession, but uh, so is. Uh, Glenn Norton and he uh, has caught the eye of the umpire and he says he did not have possession of the ball. Norton's kick comes up to the centre of the ground. Players bustling for it out on the outer side of the ground but uh, Morris Nellingham gets it across to his captain in Grant. Grant will get a hurried little kick just on the edge of the cricket pitch. Bodies come in once again. Good tackle applied there to the Atlanta player. Comes out with uh, Bobby Green again. Comes down to Tiller. Tiller will have to soon get rid of this one. He gets a hurried kick around the corner. Tom Phelps, right hand take, takes a very strong mark, and that was a, a top mark coming from behind, and he finished up in front, and Tom Phelps probably only about 20 metres out, more or less directly in front. Tom Phelps has already kicked the, the one goal for the Tigers, lining up for number two. It looks a lovely looking kick, he split the centre on this occasion, and the Tigers go to a 14-point uh, uh, lead. Tom Phelps is in very good touch at this stage and uh, that was a top mark by the full forward. Conditions very hot and blustery. Players uh, will be, uh, they'll be wanting the water bag around their neck this afternoon as uh, we'll, say, uh, we'll soon be thirsty. We'll get thirsty very quickly and, and stay that way for most of the day. In comes Marnie for the, the, uh, the tap on this occasion uh, but uh, Selim has infringed that player in coming over the top so Mark Marnie will put the Tigers back into attack. His high ball goes down to the centre half forward. Players fly for it. No one can get to it. Comes to ground. Hurried kick comes out. Proctor will be first there. Good tackle applied by Green. Tiller is there. He gets a good handball across to Rodney Green. Rodney Green across to uh, Tom Phelps, but he's intercepted by Butch Phillips when it comes across to Decoe. Decoe's kick goes wide out to the half-back flank where players are beaten to the boundary line and another throw in on the half-back flank for Yolanda will take place. Throw in comes comes to ground players scramble for it very scrambled passage of play but it's a curry kick by the Yolanda player comes across to Colin Kay swings around onto his left leg gets a nice looking pass up to the centre of the ground but pull pass and butt it up. He dodges he gets a long handball across to Bob Green Bob Green across to Turnbull Turnbull across to uh, Anderson will be first there. He picks up the ball, doesn't know, decides to weave around, gets a handball across to Grant Nelligan. Grant Nelligan will have to soon get rid of this if he wants to do any good. Handball's across to Kim Green, he does some smart thing and uh, dodge weave, gets across to Rodney Green, he swings off to his uh, left leg, but he has snapped that one and a beautiful kick by Rodney Green. 
So he puts the Tigers on their third goal. They go to three goals straight. That's uh, 18 points lead the United Atlanta side yet to score. Yes, a, a lovely bit of brilliant work there by Kim Green. Eluded three or four. Got it across to his brother in Rodney, who is very sure around goals. He doesn't miss too many. So the ball's back in the centre. Down the umpire puts it. It's Marnie and Sellon again. Marnie gets the better of it. Down to Pike. He gets a handball out wide. This is Bobby Green. He gets another handball over looking for Anderson. He'll need help, I think. No, he gets away on his own anyway. It's a long kick. It's a wobbly looking kick looking for Tiller. He can't, can't quite make it. Phelps comes out and meets it. Gets a long handball over. Norton and Green meet heavily. Deco's pushed in the back. And he'll receive the free in the back pocket. Deco. Kicking towards Peter Glover, the full back, and he takes a mark on his chest. Peter Glover, he'll be looking for a few leads upfield. Fox makes a move. He's coming to the outer side here. Three of them there, they spoil each other. Stephen Glover tries to knock it off the ground and gets ridden into the ground by Marnie. He'll be looking upfield to Habner. It's too far for him. Nelligan picks up, he's got a long kick. It'll carry in the breeze. Carr's dropping back under it, and he takes a mark on his chest. Gets a quick handball to Norton. Norton will have to get rid of it real quick. Jolly backs it up, he drops what he should have taken. Stephen Glover doesn't pick it up. Bobby Green knocks it forward. Tries to run through, and I think it was a top tackle by Neil Carr. He had nowhere to go, and runs straight into him. Neil Carr held him. So it's Neil Carr. Kicks a wobbly looking pass to Shane Fox. He recovers really well. Kicks up forward. There's no one moving up forward for the Eagles. Proctor's there though, the captain. He gets the ball. Handball to Glover. He looks out wide for Pearson. Pearson <coughs> picks it up. Tries to get rid of it. He's still in trouble. Marnie's there. The same thing happens to him. Two contesting the ball. The ball beats him out over the boundary line on the half forward line for Atlanta. Ball's brought back in. Marnie and Sellin. Sellin gets the tap. There's no one there. Herbie Turnbull, quick handball to Paul Parsons. He looked forward to Max Pike. He drops what he probably should have taken. Recovers well though. Looking forward for Grant Nilligan. He drops what he probably should have taken as well. There's probably a bit of nerves out here. He gets quick handball under a lot of pressure from Carr. And it's out of bounds. Yes, there's a lot of pressure out here. It's, the game seems to be quite quick for the temperature. I don't think they'll be able to keep this up all day. Ball's back in. Sampson and Phillips down to Stephen Pike. He tries to get around. Phillips slips over. Can't get it out. It's Tiller. He's knocked off the ball by Terry Jolly. And the ball's out of bounds. Down on the half back flank for Capini. Half forward flank for Capini, I should say. Umpire's just moving the crowd back. So the ball will be brought back in. Be Sampson and Butch Phillips contesting the ruck. No one wins it. Grant Nillian goes through, he can't quite get hold of it. Kenny Jolly gets around Sampson, looking for Nigel Hamner. He's on the ground off the bench. Good handball to Stephen Glover. Stephen Glover looking for somebody up forward, but Morris Nilligan cuts in. Ian Proctor is there as well. He battles for the ball. He can't quite pick it up. There'll be a race on out of the speedsters here. Proctor overruns it. Nilligan's back on it. This is his brother, Shane. Gets a kick around the corner. Nigel Hamner's there. He can't quite get it. Chrissy Watson's back there, hotly pursued by Paul Parsons. He misses him. Watson falls over. Kim Green's in there. Paul Parsons is back on the ball. He's picked it up. Gets tackled quickly. Kim Green knocks it forward. He can't pick it up now. He picks it up. Turns. Gets a handball out. No one's there. Norton Parsons there. Parsons nearly gets around him. Now he gets around Watson as well and kicks it straight to Shane Fox. Fox will relieve the pressure, he dummies around and gets onto his left leg. Comes up to the centre wing. Marnie bowls out the Atlanta player. Player there not uh, is held, he's not in possession. That's Morris Nelling and he elects to play straight on. Out comes Tom Phelps and takes a strong mark. Play on, says the umpire. Good tackle put on there. Capenny player, but Butch Phillips, the male medalist for 87, comes out with the football. He goes straight down the, the centre of the ground where Glover will take a strong mark. Glover. Plays it up to the centre wing where a strong mark has been taken out just on the backward side of centre wing by Shane Nelligan. 
Nadigan will bring the ball back into the centre of the ground, but it's all Yolana, and that's uh, Neil Carr, the centreman for Yolana, gets a handball across the pro, uh, Glover, but Glover's kick goes straight down to the, the veteran in Herbie Turnbull. Turnbull comes across ground, finds uh, Rodney Green. Rodney Green is given plenty of attention by Pearson, and uh, the umpire's not going to have anything to do it. I think there's a bit of boxing going on that stage, and uh, Rodney Green dummies around, gets a clear run down to the centre half, not quite the centre half forward, looking for his father and finding him in Kim Green. Kim Green, a nice pass across to Stephen Pake on the half forward flank for the Tigers. Stephen Pake probably about 65 metres out from goal, but the wind right up his tail. We'll try and put this one in long. He does, so it's a lovely looking kick off the boot. It will hit the square, but it uh, goes more than the square and over the back, and uh, a minus score results, taking the score to uh, three goal one. Tigers uh, to Yolanda yet to score. Tigers, I don't know if they're making the most of this win, but I suppose it'd have to be worth six goals at least if you wanted to uh, play the ball right. The ball out on the uh, outer side of the ground is, uh, it comes back down to Butch Phillips, will pick it up. He dummies around the plow, gets onto his natural le left leg and kicks it down to the centre wing. Uh, comes down to Morris Nelligan and uh, umpire comes in and sees a free there and uh, the penny player will be awarded and uh, Morris Nelligan will take the free kick. Nelligan on the true centre wing out of side the ground where I should say most of the play will be due to this very crosswind. Kim Green, beautiful pass into the centre half board. He plays on, gets one bounce, he's going straight to the head to goals, gets a long kick. It looked not too bad from here, it's a goal, and there's a centre half board has posted his first and the Tigers fourth. That was good play there to come across from uh, from uh, Morris Nelling and hitting that player on the chest was a magic pass and Kim Green had the open space, he had no one within 20 metres, so he had the opportunity of a bounce and he lined up for the big sticks and he uh, posted his first goal. So the Tigers are going to a handy 25 point lead at this stage. Goal scorer so far, Tom Phillips has won and Rodney and Kim Green also have won. Back in the centre of the square, umpire Waters to come in to bounce. Sampson opposed to uh, Habner on this occasion. Comes straight out to Bob Green. Bob Green down to centre half forward, but it's uh, all uh, Yelena. And David Decoe takes an easy mark on his chest. Decoe will hold play up for momentarily, wasting a little bit of time. Decides to kick it out to the centre half back position, but it's uh, the Tiger skipper in Grant Nelligan marks on his chest, and he kicks the ball right back into the uh, into the centre half forward position where players fly for it. No one can really get it, and there's a scrimmage at the true centre half forward position, and the umpire will bounce once again. Players are starting to show signs of uh, the heat already. I don't know how long they were better keep this uh, pace of the game up. Comes to ground. Grant Nelling and he's been in everything at the stage. Comes back to him again and uh, gets across to Paul Pass and has a snap. But uh, it's uh, Butch Phillips back down there and uh, he takes a strong mark. Neville Phillips, the centre half back man for the Atlanta side, uh, is right back in the goal square on this occasion. Will uh, put the, the Atlanta side out of attack, but it goes straight to uh, uh, Peter Samps on this occasion a very strong mark. Peter Samps had a wonderful year this year in the ruck. Uh, he's carrying a leg injury at this moment and he, he is about 50 metres out from goal. He will not make the distance. And a top mark there by uh, Marnie. Uh, Phelps was up very high but uh, better read by uh, the youngster, the young ruckman for the Tigers in Mark Marnie. He's only, he's in the goal square so he, he should never miss from that distance. Got the wind right behind him and there she goes. Another six-pointer to the Tigers, who take a handy lead at the at about the 23-minute minute start stage, and uh, they go to a five uh, five goal one lead. Yes, it was better judgment by Marnie there. He, he was in position. Phelps flew over the back and uh, didn't get his hands anywhere near the ball because they were. The ball was firmly wrapped in Marnie's hands. 
He made no mistake. And so the Tigers keeping the Eagles scoreless here. The ball's back into the centre and it'll be Sampson against Habner. Habner, a virtual new man in the Eagles side. Sampson's been there for a while. Up they go. Neither win it convincingly. Ball goes to the ground. And there'll be another bounce. Umpire will bring the ball off the cricket pitch. The two to go at it again. An awkward looking bounce. Pearson and Myers contest. An elegant it was. Sampson gets the ball now. He's caught by Proctor. The ball's running free at the moment. Anybody's guess who's going to get it. It's Morris Nelligan. There's a quick handball to Lyle Phelps. He's on his left, hooks it around. Watson falls over. We'll be trying to get it back towards his teammate in Deco. He looks forward, looking for a kick to Martin. He's off quickly. It's away. It's a kick off. It goes. Two Kapini blokes spoil each other, and Nelligan and Turnbull. There's a big scrimmage over there on the outer side, and the umpire decides to ball it up. On the outer side, half forward flank for the Eagles. Down goes the ball. Havner wins the ball. It comes back and Howe's out there on his own. On the left, it's a big high kick. And hopefully for the farmers, it'll bring rain. And there's out of bounds on the fall. It'll be the vice captain of the Eagles. Saka to bring the ball back in. Just waiting for it to be relayed to him now. So Saka with the ball looking up forward for Havner. He falls over. There's two players fall, falling over there together. But Turnbull takes the mark on his knees. It's a long kick down the outer side wing. And Kim Green takes a well-judged mark there behind Norton. And I would say Kim Green's giving Norton a bath at the moment. He's looking in there. <coughs> the Eagles are all there at the moment. Phelps is out there pressuring Jolly. He has to get a hurried handball away. Phelps backs up what he's already done. In goes Havner, ball running free there, out to Secker, he can't grab it. Kim Green's back in there, he falls over, and gets one a little bit high, and he'll receive the free. It's Kim Green, having a bit of a field day there at the moment. So he'll be looking forward for Phelps, I feel. It's a big kick, it's a wobbly looking kick. Players falling over, Peter Glover backs his judgment now, looks for Marit Secker and he takes the mark. Mark Secker will be looking out wide for Colin Kay. It's Kay and Nelligan. Kay uses his body to very good effect and takes a good mark. He's looking out wide here for Pearson. Anderson runs in from behind. And so it's relayed free down field. But Kay still with the ball. No movement from the Eagles up forward at the moment. Pretty lacklustre from the Eagles at the moment. Goes to the centre to Proctor, his captain. He's looking for somebody up there. Fox moves out wide. Martin and Nelligan are in the region of the ball. Martin taps it forward, falls over. Nelligan's all over the back of him. It's a handball out by Rodney Green to Herbie Turnbull. A couple of old-timers there. They do it well. And a kick to Shane Nelligan. He steadies the player. Well, kicks forward looking for Sampson. But Kim Green's in there. He dropped it. Norton lagging behind. Picks up the crumbs. Kicks it high into the air. Stevie Glover reads it off the pack. Shane Fox gets there first. <coughs> Didn't quite pick it up. Herbie Turnbull again picks it up. Gets a kick away. Looking for Grant Nelligan. He doesn't get it. Norton picks up the crumbs again. Slips over in the cricket pitch. It's a big scrimmage in the sand. Kim Green picks it up one hand. Gets a handball wide to Stephen Pake. He doesn't know what to do with it. <coughs> Kay Smothers. He'll kick it off the ground. It's up forward. Fox gets it. Falls over, gets a handball out towards Pearson. Pearson gets around onto his left. He's chased by Green. Hooks back. It's over the top of the players. Racing out towards the boundary. And it beats Skulls Howe out right next to the point post. It'll be the first time the Eagles have had the ball up there for a fair while. We throw it in right next to the point post. Having to use his body. The umpire has seen a free. Goes to Shane Nelligan. Not sure where to go. Now we see Sampson in the middle. He takes a mark, uncontested, gets a quick handball out to Pike. He comes wide towards Anderson. Jolly's going to, well, we thought he was going to meet the ball. He didn't meet it quite strong enough. And the ball's going to race out. And it's out of bound, right on 
the wing position. Ball's thrown in, no ruckman there to contest it. Carr gets a fist forward. Jolly bumps Anderson. Anderson picks up the ball, uses his pace. Looking forward for Phelps, it's a good kick. He gets under it too far, and the ball races over the top of him, and three for one behind. Minor score to the Tigers, which takes them to 5-2, 32, leading the, the uh, Yolanda Eagles, yet to score. Kick back in, comes straight to uh, Proctor. Proctor plays straight on, comes up to the centre of the ground. Uh, Martin takes a, a well-judged mark. He quickly plays on to uh, Habner. Habner up to uh, Glenn Habner, who was awarded the free kick. Glenn Haben, defensive side of... Uh, Half forward gets a kick up to the true centre half forward flank. Players on the ground. It comes to uh, Glover. Glover gets a hurry quick up to uh, the forward pocket. First is Pearson. Pearson is uh, met heavily, but uh, but the ball has gone out of bounds on the full. So Rodney Pearson will take a, a free kick in the forward pocket in that uh, dead side. He brings the ball back into the true. Uh, true pocket more or less and uh, he has found uh, the centre half forward and Glenn Habner. Glenn Habner on his natural left leg comes around he will try and uh, squeeze this one but it goes straight across the front of goals but uh, just about a mark there to Kai whereas the buzzer says to complete the first quarter where it is uh, Kapini I think that should be 5-2 lead uh, Yolanda by, uh, yet to score. Well, it's been a, a pretty good game so far. Uh, Kapini have made uh, use of their breeze. I don't know if it's enough. Uh, Yolanda are a, a very talented side, so they're going to have to hold this uh, classy team if, uh, if they want to stay in this game. At this stage, uh, I would say that's uh, they've made pretty good use of the, the breeze. Siren sounds, start the second quarter. Down the ball goes, it's Marnie against Phillips. Phillips gets the ball down to Proctor. It's a quick kick away. Green's loose in defence by the look of it. He takes the mark on his chest. Kim Green kicks out wide, looking for Lyle Phelps. He just scoops it up. Kicks around the corner, looking for Pake. He marks. Tigers look to be doing it pretty easy here for the start. It's the tempos seem to quieting down for the start of this second quarter. Puts the ball up, but it's Martin who takes the, the mark on the outer side wing. He's looking towards the centre. In the ball comes. Phelps is up there. He's had two bites at the cherry. Couldn't mark it. Brian Kay's on the ground. Brian Kay and Lyle Phelps fighting for the ball. The umpire's going to ball it up on the outer side wing. Down the ball goes. It's Marnie and Pearson. Phelps gets a knock from behind and he'll receive the free. Phelps kicks forward, looking for Tiller and he takes a good good mark under extreme pressure from Jolly. Tiller looking forward, looking for Rodney Green, but Chrissy Watson reads the ball better. Held up in the breeze, which might have fooled Green, and Watson takes the mark. Kicking towards the centre, it's all Kipini at the moment. Martin gets one high, no free given. Pakes in there, gets a handball out quick into the open space. Proctor's there, he'll use his pace if he can pick it up. Gets knocked on by Nelligan. Back to Pike, he ducks into it and it's holding the ball. He ducked into it and it was holding the ball. Phillips got the ball looking upfield for a lead. Not too much movement. A long kick, it's a wobbly looking kick. Green's under the ball. He gets charged by Kay. And I think Kay came off the second best out of that lot. So it's Green with the ball. Umpire's given 15 metres here. He, I'd, I'm sure he's looking in his pocket for his rule book. Now he's going to give another 15. For not giving the ball back, I'm not real sure whether that's good umpiring or what. We'll, we'll leave it up to everybody else. The ball holds up in the breeze. The kick from Green. Eagles are on the ground at the moment. Get the handball out to Phillips. He gets around with a long kick. The bounce will beat everybody just about off here. Jump for the ball. Habner's got the ball now. He kicks on his right. Round and open. Nelligan's dropping over it. And Shane Nelligan takes the mark. Calling the crisis is Shane Nelligan. 
Goes back for his kick. Looking upfield for Marnie. Gets, gets run into by a runner. Having it with a long handle looking for Decoe. He drops it. He should have taken that. He's under extreme pressure and gets one a little bit high. And he'll take the ball. Looking for a handball. No one's moving. He'll go back. Looking for Saka. Saka's on the move at the moment. Puts it in front of that player. Nelligan cuts in front. Saka drops what he should have taken. There's a hard body thrown in there. Goes over Green's hands into Coe's. Coe's in there. He picks it up. Gets a handball out to Phillips. He won't handball, I bet you. He gets a long left foot screwy. Fox is dropping under it. But I feel the ball will race out. No, Fox has got there quicker than I thought. He gets caught by Parsons. And is holding the ball. Paul Parsons caught him quite quickly there. Looking infield for Pike. The ball bounces in front of that man. Carr reads it better. He gets swung to his left. Hooks it around. No one there but Kim Green. He takes the ball. Kicks to the outer side. Looking for Nelligan. He drops it. And it's out on the fall. The wind carrying the ball a lot further than the players expect. Kick into the wind. Looking for Glover there. He was all over the top of that player in Shane Nelligan, and he takes the kick. Using the outer side, that's Kelly on the ground, I feel, and he punches the ball forward. So it's in the forward pocket for the Eagles. <laughs> Looks like the pattern of play for the day, down there on the outer side. Ball about to be brought in by the boundary up right. Phillips there, takes it out of the air, handballs to nobody in particular. Kim Green's there again, kicks forward, looking for somebody up forward, it's Phelps. Who's moved out to centre half forward, I think. And the ball beats him out over the line. Boundary up by the ball. Bring the ball in again. Phillips is up there again with Phelps and Marnie. Marnie got the tap forward. The Eagles don't know which one wants it. Now it's out to Kenny Jolly. He's under pressure. Gets it to Norton. He drops it. A long handball to nobody. Fox is out to meet the ball. He gets it. Gets a ha quick handball. To another nobody in particular. Nelligan gets it, runs into his own teammate, kicks to the outer side of the ground again. That's out of bounds in front of Michael Green. Baldery uh, brought back in by a boundary umpire. Centre wing. Phillips opposed to Marnie. Kim Green gets a tap down. Scrimmage apply on the ground. Players uh, bottle the ball up. Umpire comes, indicates he'll have a bounce on the outer side of the ground. Played about seven minutes of this uh, 1987 grand final in the second quarter. United Yolanda get the handball across to Pearson. Pearson drives it into the true centre half forward position. Players fly for it, it's tapped away. How it comes away. Kay goes in, he can't pick it up, picks up now, gets a hurry, kick into the full forward position. And he's offline, and that's the Yolanda's first score of the game. And it's a, a minor score, one point. Very surprised to, uh, to see the Tigers tackling like they are. The, the Alana are usually a very good tackling side, but it's the, the boot on the other foot at this stage. The kick in comes, and uh, Lyle Phelps has two or three grabs at that one, and the umpire said he's held that one long enough, and uh, he will put the Tigers into attack from the half-back line. Comes up to the true centre wing position. Uh, Mickey Green is... Uh, I don't know, pushing the back or fell down, but it, the ball beats all players out over the line. And uh, that umpire's going to earn his dollars today throwing the ball in on that side of the ground. Throw in Phillips against uh, Marnie. Comes to Nelligan, his kick's smothered. Players come to the ground, play there, not held in. And Jolly gets a tap out, straight to Decoe. Decoe comes in, round one player, finally gets done to his kick. Gets a wobbly old kick down to Glenny Habner. Glenny Habner's asked to play on, gets a short kick into uh, Mark Secker. Mark Secker at the true centre half forward position, probably about 45 metres out from goal. Should have no worries of getting the distance. All he's need is accuracy. Usually a reasonable kick is Mark Secker. The big blonde bombshell comes in. Don't look too bad off the boot, but uh, just off line, as the umpire indicates, one point. Yes, Yelena not using the ball as well as the Tigers at, at this stage and uh, I guess their coach and Tony Pedal will be a bit frustrated at this stage. Howe brings the ball back in and there's a good mark taken on the outer side 
by Kim Green, who is in devastating form at this stage. He's playing loose in the back lines. His kick comes up to the centre wing position. Tiller flies, can't, can't bring the mark down. Players in and out, and uh, umpire comes in, and uh, he will have a bounce at the true centre wing position on the outer side of the ground. Down goes the bounce. Butch Phillips against uh, Sampson. Sampson wins the ball on this occasion. Players try to kick it off the ground. Green in there over the top, and uh, umpire comes in again. The ball hasn't moved uh, five metres in the last uh, 45 seconds. Bottled up on that outer side of the ground. Very blusty conditions here at the moment, and uh, full, the ball is forced out once again, and the boundary umpire will this time bring it back in. Ruckman, no Ruckman tried to get it that time, but Stephen Pake grabs the ball and held to him, and the umpire will have once a bounce once again. I think the score broad is wrong. I think the Tigers have one more point. It is 5-2 to two points at this stage of the second quarter. The ball is pushed on by the Kapini player, but there's a Yolanda player in... Uh, uh, just can't pick that car, uh, car I think. Uh, forced the ball out once again, and the umpire has uh, once again uh, put the ball back in. Very, uh, very uh, untidy football over on this the outer side of the ground at the moment. There's been more throw-ins and bounce up than there's been uh, kicks of the football. The umpire comes in, bounce it once again. Phillips against uh, Sampson. No one can get it, but a good tackle applied to that Yolanda player. The player comes to ground. There's a lot of hanging on and carrying on, but the uh, ball comes to ground once again. Two players fighting over it. Yolanda first there and Butch Phillips. He gets one a little bit high, I think, and uh, this will be the first kick for the last two minutes, I think. Phillips usually a delightful kick. Gets the ball up just on the backward side of uh, centre half board. Comes across to Turnbull. Turnbull going to the safety of the boundary line where uh, it, uh, Hamner keeps it in play. Gets across to his skipper and Proctor. Proctor back into the centre of the ground between centre half board and uh, centre. And it's uh, Rod Pearson. Pearson swings it around onto his right foot. Hits Lover on the chest and he spilled it straight out and uh, comes back to uh, Peter Sampson, the ruckman for the Tigers. Gets a high ball to the centre of the ground. Good high uh, leap there by Phelps, but he couldn't bring it down. And uh, uh, umpire has awarded a free kick to uh, Tiller for something. I don't know what it was for. Uh, so Jeff Tiller will put the Tigers back in, into, the, into attack. But it's all, all you ladder here in uh, uh, Glenn Norton, the solid defender for the, the Eagles, will relieve the pressure and uh, put the Yolanda side into attack. His kick goes down to the centre half forward position. Green flies high, can't get it. Thumped away by Turnbull. Comes across to Nelligan, but it's it's Glover first there. He gets a high ball into the true centre half forward, but a, a good safe mark taken by the full back in Alan Howe. And he relieves the pressure for the Tigers. He gets it right out to the half back flank. First will be Stephen Pake. He gets a handball across to Steve Myers. Steve Myers. In due course, up to uh, the centre wing, but uh, the wind, very gusty, has taken the ball out of bounds on the full. Score still 5-2 to two points. Played approximately uh, 14 minutes of the second quarter. So time is ticking away for the Yolanda side. Uh, a good mark taken on the on the outer side there in Kelly. Kelly's kick comes into the true centre half forward position, but a, a very strong mark there by Lyle Phelps, who is also playing a reasonable game. Gets the ball back out, and they're playing that uh, dead wing fairly well. It comes across to uh, Neil Carr. Neil Carr across to Butch Phillips. Butch Phillips up to the centre half forward position. Players fly for it. Comes to ground. Out to Shane Nelly. Gets a hurried, wobbly old kick, and it's Kay. And uh, Morris Nelly can do battle for it. Mark Seger comes in to lend a hand. It comes across to uh, to Glover. Glover across, across to uh, Young Fox. And it gets across into uh, the true centre half forward position. I thought that could have been a mark, but play on, says the umpire. Comes up to the centre wing where it's uh, Kay. Gets a long handball across to Butch Phillips. He all line the goals up with one of these big torpedo punts. And look at this one go. Where's she going to land? I think it's a goal. Yeah, it's a top goal from the... <laughs> 
we could see what was going to happen to that one. So the, the Alana side have got their first goal on the board. And that was a top kick, and uh, Butch Phillips loves doing those big screwies. The 1987 male medalist in uh, Butch Phillips has posted the first goal for the Alana side. Magnificent kick. Even though Coach Pella doesn't like him, I think he would have had to like that one being the first goal for the Eagles. Phillips, the male medalist, will want to make it a big one. I do believe it'll be his last, so he'll be giving it everything. Up they go again. Sampson gets a tap towards Morris Nelligan. Car punches it forward. Brock is in there now. Onto his left. Kicks it in front of the car. It's too far for him. The wind carries it. Pearson's got it. Handballs it in front of him. Self. Tries to get back on it. Parsons. Back there. He gets the ball. Hooks it around his body. Deco's back there, though. Looking in field for Fox. But Jolly chips in. And he takes it and cops one pretty high after taking the mark as well. <coughs> yes, that might have been the goal that the Eagles needed to, to lift themselves. Jolly with the ball at the moment. Puts in a high drop punt. Howell flies from behind and gets a punch. Proctor's there on his left, kicks into Herbie Tamble, and it goes out of bounds. Proctor having a little chip at goal there on his left. He got too close to Tamble and kicked it into him. So the ball comes in. It was a pretty awkward looking throw in by the boundary. Up by Proctor's there again. Has another snap on his right. Howell's back in there. All drops what he should have taken. Probably took his eyes off the ball. Luckily for him, it bounced through for a point. So we how to bring the ball out again. Go to the outer side, the defensive side for the Tigers. It's a long kick. High flyers are up. Not too many on the ground at the moment. In there, Brian Kay trying to pick it up. Can't get it up there. And the ball runs over the line another throw in. I'm sure these boundary umpires will be on the other side will be looking for the changeover. In the ball comes, it's Phillips and Sampson again. Glover gets one hand to it, knocks it forward, quick handball out to Kelly. Kelly looking for Saka, but Habner chips in front. And Habner going back for a shot at goals. Here's a pretty good kick at goals, Habner. Lining him up. In he goes on his left leg. She looks a pretty good kick. And the goal umpire agrees with me. So the Eagles post their second goal. A good kick by Habner. Good passage of play out there by the Eagles. Nice pass by Kelly. Found Habner. I think he was looking for Secker though. Habner chipped in and took the mark. The breeze has cooled off a little bit at the moment. The cloud coming in from the west. So it might make things a bit more pleasant for the players out there. Umpire about to put the ball down. Phillips and Sampson again. Sampson gets the better go at it. Glover knocks it forward. Carr's in there again. Nobody can pick it up. A lot of scrambly stuff going on there. They're all fumbling it and dropping it and charging it and not picking it up clearly, so the umpire will have to bounce again. Moves about five metres to the south. The centre circle down the ball goes. It's same two Ruckman again. Carr gets it, gets nearly clobbered. Yes, he has been caught for holding the ball, trying to do too much. And Nelligan gets, the, oh, 15 metres. This umpire likes these 15 metres. Nelligan tries to get around, probably gets it to Anderson with a handball. He gets it out wide towards Green. They might be trying to do too much. Green's got to kick it quickly, going towards the safety of the line, I feel. Tiller's out there trying to get there. He taps it back in, but it beat him, beaten him over the line. It'll be a throw in on the outer half forward flank for the Tigers. Phillips falls over. Anderson gets a tap forward. Tom Phillips gets it. He's on his right, hooks it back. Michael Green takes the mark in front of Peter Glover there. The wind will be blowing right into his face. So the ball will hold up. Probably be better off looking for someone in a bit shorter. 
Looks like he's going to have a shot though. It'll be a handy goal if he can get it into the breeze. It's a wobbly looking kick. Out of bounds on the fall. Probably tried too much. Watson brings the ball in. It's a long kick. And Samson takes a strong mark. Kicks out looking for Grant Nelligan. He takes the ball in front of his eyes. A good grab. Looking for leads upfield. Puts it up high. Tiller's there. He flies. Can't grab it. He gets back and gets it now. But he was lucky to get away with that off field. He just dropped it away. The umpire decided he'd have it and he'd ball it up. <laughs> Down the ball goes. It's Phillips and Tiller. Jolly comes through strongly. Can't get rid of it. The umpire's going to ball it up again. In between half forward and full forward for the Tigers. Down it goes again. Phillips and Tiller again. Tiller probably gets the better of it. Carr with a quick handball to Peter Glover. He's got a long handball to Watson. He's got the run of it. He looks further afield for the cove. But I think the ball's going to beat him out. It's out of bounds on the other side wing. Twenty-one minutes gone of the second quarter of 87 grand final. It's back on that dead outer side uh, wing once again. As the umpire will bring the ball back into play. Ball comes to Samson. Samson can't bend his back far enough. Bit of a scramble. Players going in hard. Comes through to the car. He tries to burst his way through the players. And uh, umpire said that he tried to do too much. And uh, brings a fair bit of vocal... Uh, uh, very vocal uh, Yelena crowd beside us. Butch Phillips comes in to take the mark, but he can't take it. But it comes to Norton, gets a handball across to, to Glover. Glover down to Glenn uh, Habner. He drops what he should have taken, but he's still got possession of the ball. He comes back and gets a handball across to Fox. Uh, uh, Kelly, I mean. And uh, Kelly's kick comes up to uh, Lyle Phelps, who takes a strong mark. And uh, his wobbly old kick uh, goes out to the half back line where a uh, Capetti player's infringed a uh, Yelena you know, player in David Decoe and David Decoe is taking a free kick at centre half forward flank. He brings the ball back into the true centre half forward position where he finds uh, Mark Sager about uh, 45, 50 metres out from goal. He shouldn't uh, have no trouble with the distance. He was just off line with his last kick. See what he can do with this one. This one looks a lot better. And he split the centre this time, and that's uh, Secker's first goal. And uh, the Eagles are creeping just that little bit uh, further up the ladder, and uh, they're only a couple of goals behind now. <coughs> the last game uh, these two sides met in the second semi final, uh, United Yolanda gave uh, Capinia a football lesson and uh, sort of drilling them into the ground to the tune of 96 points. And uh, I don't think Capini will uh, let them do the same on this occasion. She's do or die. It's grand final time as the ball is uh, put down once again in the centre square. Uh, Samson against Amani. I think uh, uh, Phillips have got the tap on that occasion. And there's a strong mark and uh, David Deco in front of uh, Kim Green on this occasion. David Deco at the true centre half forward position. What's he going to do? I think he's going to have a go, no, he's, he's found somebody, looking for somebody, didn't find that player, comes over the back, Proctor's in there, players flying in, throwing themselves over the ball, comes out, still uh, very untidy football down in the half forward line for the Tiger, uh, for Yolanda side, it's uh, Lyle Phelps, has met heavily, but he stands his ground, he gets a wobbly old kick up to the centre half, into the centre wing position where it's uh, Anderson, overruns the ball, but still, uh, still got possession of the ball, and... Uh, he uh, takes the ball out of bounds and uh, there will be a throw in just on the attack side of centre wing for the Tigers. About 24 minutes gone of the second quarter. Umpire, boundary umpire brings the ball in. Yolanda play gets a tap across but uh, Anderson comes in, socks off the ground and uh, will it be uh, Jolly get just uh, traps the ball inside the boundary line. There's two Tiger players there. Uh, finish up dropping the ball and uh, Marnie I think it is and uh, very lucky to take that one Mark Marnie will put the Tigers into attack ball holds up in the air Rodney Green against Watson and uh, a good grab there by uh, Rod Green he knows what uh, finals football is all about and he puts his body over the ball 
comes into the true centre half forward position where a strong mark has been taken by uh, Norton, the centre half back man for the Atlanta side. <coughs> Very mean customer Norton, he drives the ball long, comes up to the centre wing position, Green drops what he should have taken, bounced out of him, Sampson overruns the ball, it comes out to, uh, to Fox, uh, goes up to the centre half, uh, centre wing position where uh, Kim Green and David Decoe fight for it, but the ball is forced out of bounds, over the line, and uh, another throw in on that uh, far side of the ground. Yolanda just creeping that little bit further afield. But I still believe uh, uh, Capini are playing a little bit better football at this stage. Ball comes up to the centre half forward position. Samson gets a handball out, comes to ground. Phelps gets a handball out. Very hard, very scrambly football. Comes across to Tossa Proctor. Proctor comes out to no man's land. Who's going to be first there? I think it's Habner will be there. He will uh, get uh, caught by Parsons. Pa uh, Habner finally gets his kick across to the centre half forward position where it's uh, Morris Nelligan. Picks up the ball. Will uh, get the ball up to his uh, skipper and twin brother in Grant Nelligan. Grant Nelligan, a brilliant footballer, won the mile medal in 83 and has won six best and fairest for his club as. Uh, an excellent player. Ball comes up and Glover uh, puts the ball back in the tack for Yolanda. Uh, uh, players fly high for at the centre half forward position. Could have been a mark given there, but uh, no way, said the umpire. And uh, the, uh, the ball comes out and through the agency of uh, Decoe, that uh, there's no one home for the Yolanda side, and it's Howe. Howe uh, gets the ball out and he finds his. Uh, Halfback flanker in Steve Myers. S Steve Myers gets the ball out to the to the halfback flank, and the ball goes out of bounds once again. <laughs> About 27 minutes gone of this uh, quarter, so there, there wouldn't be a lot of time left in the second quarter. Almost half the grand final of 87 gone. Players come in, stack on the ball. What's the umpire going to do? No, still play on. Uh, comes out to Grant Nelly. He's, he's met very high, and uh, he will receive a free kick. Half-back flank, out of side. Slowing things down a little bit. Just taking a breather. The Tiger skipper brings it up to the centre wing position where a strong mark is taken by uh, Stephen Pike. Steve Pake, who had a run with the bays earlier in the year, has uh, benefited from that exercise. As he has uh, quickened his reflexes uh, up considerably, especially his handball has uh, improved out of sight. Another ball up between centre half forward and centre wing, out of sight on that dead side pocket and dead side wing. Uh, it's going for it comes uh, away with uh, Proctor, the skipper of Yelena down to uh, a brilliant mark taken by David Decoe, edging Kim Green on, it, on that occasion. Comes down to uh, Lyle Phelps, takes the, the advantage of one bounce, gets across to Stephen Green, gets a handball across to Myers. It was a bad handball, putting that player under a lot of pressure, and the ball is forced out once again on the outer side of the ground. Ball down the half forward flank there. Intercepted there by Nelligan. He gets around a couple. Norton meets the ball. He trips over at the wrong time. There's knock forward. Cars in there. He hasn't done much all day. What can he do now? He still can't get it. There's a wide handball by Brian K to Peter Glover. Fall back. Looks forward with a long kick. Out to the pocket. There's two Capini players there. The second was in front. And he gets a, a lucky free kick, I think. Second looking for Pearson, who's in the goal square. The siren sounds. And a one-point result to United Jelana. The Tigers lead, though. I think it's 5-2 to 3-3. Three, three. Good quarter of football by the Tigers to hold the Eagles down to three goals. They'll have what advantage of the breeze there will be in the next quarter, and they'll be hoping to drive it home and put it out of reach of the Eagles. 
the Eagles with being a determined side will probably try and get back and see if they can score into the breeze. The breeze has dropped out a little bit now. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Umpire about to put the ball down to start the second half. Sampson and Sellin. Sampson gets it. It's Green in the middle there. He's fighting for the ball. Proctor's in there as well, hard. Pike off the ground. Tiller drops probably what he should have taken. Green's in there. Glover meets him with a heavy body. Tiller in there again. He's tackled by Glover. Nelligan's in there as well. He's trying to get through. Grabbed a bit high, and he'll receive the free. So Tigers straight off into attack. Breeze has probably dropped out a little bit. Nelligan lining up the goals. He's going to have a shot. In he comes. It's a high kick. It looks like it's right through the middle. So the Tigers have started full of fire. A quick goal. That's what they needed. To start this second half of football here. The wind's not going to help anybody, I don't think. It's dropping right out at the moment. So, we'll be see who's the fittest, I think, out of these two sides to see what happens. So the ball's back in the middle. Umpire about to put the ball down again at Sellin and Sampson. Not a real good con test. Proctor gets it. The Coe's in the centre. He knocks it forward off the ground. Sampson's out there again. Now Lyle Phelps has got it. Kicks it out wide looking for Anderson. He drops back under it and takes a good mark. Looking long. Looking for Kim Green. He's bodied out the way. But the team wanted to play on, but the umpire was a free kick. And Green has to come back over his mark. Kicks it in towards Pike. It's a poor kick, though. Norton does well. Kicks forward, looking for Glover. Goes through his finger. Myers takes it off the pack. Kicks it out wide, looking for his brother. And Craig, he marks on his chest. Plays on quickly. Kicks it in, looking for Green. And it was a good positional kick, and Green runs in and takes an easy mark on his chest. I thought good job on Green when he went into the fence. They got Norton back on him. Green kicks a good goal, makes no mistake at all. So the Tigers started with two quick goals. And they have started really well, full of fire. And they look the goods at the moment. Plenty of run, plenty of desire. Something the Eagles are lacking at the moment. The ball's back in the centre. Same two, Ruckman at it again. Not a real good decisive knock out anyway. Proctor dies on Green. The other side decides he'll have a ball up. Back in the centre. You just about bounce it back down in the circle again. Up go the two, Ruckman again. Samson taps it forward. Martin steals the crumbs. Plenty of pace. Kicks forward, looking for Secker. Howell's there. Secker's bumped out of the way, I felt. The kick's out wide, looking for Morris Nelligan. Pedler, the coach, is getting a bit ropeable in the box, I feel. And the ball races out. Of bounds on the outer side. Pretty vocal chaff is that peddler. Two Ruckman at it again. Selim probably had the better of it. Didn't use it as well as he could have. Nelligan rows it pretty well. Kicks it forward looking for Myers. He doesn't quite get it on the half volley. Nelligan backs up what he's done. Knocked off the ball by Proctor. He controls the ball better. better gets a round one. Kicks into his own man. Backs it up again. Sampson hit heavily by Carr. It's Watson and Green. Green uses his body to a good effect. Oh, knocked off by Norton, I think. Bit of scrimmaging play over there. Green's in there again. Oh, written into the ground by Watson. Kay's in there as well. He kicks forward. 
Only to find Nelligan, he drops what he should have taken. But does well though. And Green takes a top mark. A good grab. Kicks forward looking for his brother in Bobby. Good knock off the ground. Martin knocks it forward. Gets a bit of a trip from Anderson, but Anderson backs it up well. Oh, he's, he's tagged after. Play on. The umpire's going to play on. This time, kicks to Marty. There's a bit of a scrimmage back here. There's no one can get a punch in, so she's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Everybody's running from everywhere. Don't worry about that. Marty's got the ball down the ground. Bit of pointing and picking noses, and there's nothing in it, really. Marty's got the ball. That's where the action is. Kicking towards goal. Looks pretty good. Oh, it's drifted across with the wind, I suppose. And it's one point. A runner out to Anderson trying to quiet him down a bit. Glover plays on from fullback, kicks out wide to that dead side. Green's up there, takes another good grab. He's having a field day today. Looking in for his younger brother in Michael. Kicks towards him. He's attacked upon by two or three Eagles. Pearson out on his own. He's, he's got a bit of pace, this lad. Kicks forward looking for Deco. He'll cut through there. Myers is there too quick. Kay's in there as well. Players fighting over the ball. Nelligan can't quite pick it up. Gets it knocked out only as far as Deco. Kicks forward looking for Glover. Glover and Phelps contest it. Glover knocks it forward. Seth is in there as well, knocking it forward. Phelps knocks it out into the open. Nobody can quite get it out into the open. Now it's a handball to Parsons. Parsons to Green. Green, a long kick. Looking for Myers. He takes... No, it's out on the full. Over the boundary. It'll be Watson with a kick. Carr's in the centre. He's not going here. He's going to go a bit longer than that. Kicks into the man on the mark. Took too long. It's a throw in. Went over the line. On the outer side. And boy, to bring the ball back in. Nobody gets a decisive tap. Nelligan grabs it quick. Knocked forward. Myers is using post. Watson's there with him, though. The two 17s battle for the ball. Fox picks it up, gets it clear. Now he's clear. Looks upfield and kicks into the man on the mark again. Kicks into the man, I should say, and out of bounds. So a lot of kicking into the man going on here at the moment. Now by to bring it in again. Sellin, Sampson. No one really does it well. Fox knocks it forward. Martin uses his pace to get there first. Didn't get the ball out. Carr dies on it. Couldn't get it out to Anderson. It's a big high kick. Looking for Tiller. But Peter Glover comes out and takes a good mark. He'll be looking for somebody upfield. Pearson's moving. Kicks it that way. But it's dropping a bit short. And Green takes a finger tipper. A top mark. He's having a pretty good day. He reckons all his Christmases are come at once. He reckons he might be able to do this one. He'll give it a try anyway. It's a big screw. It come off the side of the boot. Peter Glover's there, gets a hand to it, knocks it towards the boundary, and out it goes. Seven minutes gone in the third quarter as the throw-in is in the, in the forward pocket for the Tigers. Ruckman tests for it. Comes to ground. Pearson picks up, brings it around onto his left foot, hugging the boundary line. Bob Green, boundary line beats players, and the umpire will throw in on the half forward flank for the Capini. So the Capini players are really, uh, really gritting their teeth, and they don't want this one to slip through their fingers. Go straight to Morris Nelling, held to that player. Players throwing their bodies in, really desperate. Comes out to Butch Phillips, gets a wobbly old kick. Comes up between uh, Pake and Pearson. Pake gets the better bounce. He will pick up the ball. Fires it into the half forward line. A good mark there, not quite, by Tiller. Drops it. Pressure put on the Atlanta player in, uh, in, in Jolly. A good holding the ball decision there. And it will be Jeff uh, Tiller to uh, line up for Tigers' eighth goal. Tiller probably 45 metres out on a slight angle. Wind right up his back. Should have uh, not a lot of trouble in uh, converting this one. Usually a pretty good kicker of the football as Jeff Tiller comes in. Just off the side, I'd say. 
One point. Takes the Tigers to 7-4. Lead the Eagles 3-4. Ball being brought back into play by uh, Glover. Nice looking kick off the boot. Makes uh, the centre half back position. Comes to ground. Plus, come in to Myers. Gets the ball out. Comes to uh, uh, Anderson. Gets a hurry kick. Goes straight to Kay. Kay's kick goes straight. Quick. Goes straight up in the air. Comes down to the Atlanta player. Gets it up to the centre position where it's uh, Glenny Habner. Takes a good mark out in front of Brenton Pike. Habner's kick goes across the centre wing in position and uh, uh, Rod Pearson will take the to kick. He puts his side into attack. Comes up to Proctor who's met in front by Parsons but he's uh, well tackled by Parsons but he managed to get the ball out and the, the ball is close to the boundary line where it's Shane Nelligan. Picks up just in front of the boundary line. Gets the ball back up to uh, the centre half back position and uh, is marked by his uh, skipper Grant Nelligan. Grant Nelligan, a bit underside where to go. He's played a great captain's game, puts the ball right at the centre wing position. Phillips gets the big punch away, comes to ground. Craig Myers gets a handball across, but it goes straight to the Atlanta player in Watson. Watson will put the Eagles back into attack, and it goes into uh, the, the centre half forward position in, in K. Goes across to Habner. Habner to Pearson, who's met solidly, and uh, the Atlanta players coming in very solidly, but that's Glenny Habner comes out with the ball, has the has a bounce. He is caught holding the ball. Yes, he uh, he had plenty of opportunity, but he decided to uh, bounce on an occasion. He uh, he was caught holding the ball, so uh, Lyle Phelps will uh, relieve the pressure once again for the Tigers. Young Lyle Phelps has played a reasonable game too. Only a youngster, he gets the ball up to the centre of the ground. No one can get it. Kim being. Kim Green punched across to uh, uh, Plaza there, but it's, it's brought away by uh, uh, Watson across to Kay. Kay across to Carr. Put under a lot of pressure, and it's uh, Butch Phillips who will mark, and uh, he puts uh, the Eagles back in attack, but it's all Kapini here, and it's uh, Lyle Phelps once again. Uh, Dakota came in a bit late, and uh, Lyle Phelps kicks it down to the just uh, forward to centre, where a good mark is taken by Jeff Phillips. Tiller gets the ball across to Stephen <coughs> Pike, comes out to Michael Green, drops what he should have taken, and it's a uh, jolly, will relieve the pressure once again for the Eagles. Comes into the centre of the ground, class fly for it, and it's a good mark there by the Kapini Ruckman in Sampson. Yeah, he had the front position, and uh, he has been awarded the uh, the mark, <laughs> much to the displeasure of uh, the Yolanda supporters. <laughs> Sampson's wobbly old kick goes to centre up, centre up forward. Jolly, Terry Jolly comes away across to Martin. Martin, the speeds to get the handball across to Deco. Deco across to that uh, dead wing, but uh, it's uh, Kay will be first there. He's going to be hotly pursued by Nelligan, but he gets a kick up to uh, the true centre half forward position where uh, Pearson drops it, but he gets it across to Deco in backing up. It comes to Glenny Habner, and he takes a very well judge, judge mark in front of his body. He quickly plays on, and it's Deco again. He's everywhere. He's like Louis the Fly, this fellow, and he's uh, and he's received a, a 15 metre penalty for I don't know what. Couldn't have been coming back on the mark quite quick enough, according to uh, umpire Stringer. So here is the opportunity for David to co to post the the Eagles' fourth goal and bring them just that little bit closer to the Tigers. To co very deliberate, looks very good off the boot. I think that's six points. So that's David to co's first goal. And uh, Yolanda's fourth. I think the wind has dropped out considerably, and uh, there's not a lot in it at this stage. A bit of cloud cover, so we should see some uh, a reasonable football now. As uh, as Anderson comes off the ground, and uh, uh, Rod Green goes back on again. I believe Capini is still making using uh, the ball a little bit better than the, the Eagles at this stage. Uh, that uh, it's a long way to go yet. Sampson wins the tap down. Comes to Deco, who is uh, he's putting in a, a reasonable second and third quarter. Comes to Glover, who drops and spills it. Comes to Lyle Phelps, gets a hurry kick up too, but it's Butch Phillips going to be first there. Phillips can't seem to grab it. He's tapping in front of him. Gets it across to uh, Watson. What can Watson do? I, I think Myers has overtaken him, and he gets a hurry kick down to 
the centre half forward position where Jolly gets Green out of the road, but it's uh, Kim Green, the brilliance of this guy, picks it up one hand, does the backward turn, gets the ball into, try to find Tom Phelps. Tom Phelps over the back. What's he done with it? It looks all right from here. She's a goal. What a ripper. She's a ripper, Tom Phelps. She's a, that one will keep the, will set the Tigers alight, hopefully. There's a bit of brilliant play out there by Green. Kim Green there, he, he turned out of two or three Eagle players, got on his own, kicked it off his left foot. Bit of a scrimmage up there and Phelps just snapped it and the goal came from nowhere. So the ball's back in the centre. Ball about to go down. Sampson. Habner. Carr's in there. He hasn't done much all day, Carr. Kicks forward this time, though. And Glover takes a good mark, running this into the ball. Kicks it quickly to Secker. To be under plenty of pressure from Howe. There's plenty of penny guys there. Pike uses his body to affect Phelps. No. Tripped or ridden into the ground, whatever you like, and gets the free. Kicks out wide. Oh. Kicks straight to Fox. Fox sees Habner on a lead and kicks it that way. So it's Habner on his left. The wind's nothing to speak of. Oh, kicks it. And the man on the mark gets a hand to it. Two green boys run into each other. Quick handball by Fox to Brian Kay on his left. Kicks it. And it's offline for one point. And Fox has got cramp there. It's a good day for cramp. Nice and hot. Test the fitness of everybody, this will. Waiting for Howe to get back to the square to kick out. Howell down the middle with a monstrous kick. Right down to the cricket pitch. Carr knocks it forward, gets up and knocks it forward. Habner reads it well, gets a quick kick. Pearson takes a good overhead mark. Could probably make the distance. He's lining up now. It was a good grab. It's a nice looking kick. It's just about fading away at the last minute though. And it's one behind. Wasted opportunities here. They need goals. They need them quickly. They give them a lot of hope, a lot of fire in the last quarter. How? What can he do with this one? Another one. Not quite as long. It's a good grab by the captain of the Eagles, Ian Proctor. Looking for his vice captain, Mark Seger. The kick's too far, and How will take the mark. Not keying to position as well. Martin gets up, Fox takes it off, off the back, gets around two, he's going to go again. Kicks it high, looking for Glover, and he takes a mark. It's probably a poor kick from Howe. He looked as though he was on his own there for a little while, but Fox was in the hands of the trainers and got up, and it made two on one. Glover, that's a good looking kick. That's better, that's what the Eagles need. So they need that, and that puts the score at 5-6, 30 points, to 8-4, 52. As Fox comes off, and Peter Turnbull runs on. What's going on here? He runs on for the Tigers, but it's Salem for the Eagles, going to the forward pocket. It's Habner. It's a bad bounce by the umpires. Goes straight to the car, uncontested. He gets a quick handball to Kay, looking up forward to Glover to kick the last goal. Takes it on his chest, kicks around the corner, quick to Pearson. He's on the run. He's caught the ball. It'd have to be holding the ball, I feel. Could be a no other decision. So Pearson handballs back to Howe. He got him well. Howe with another big kick to the outer side. Marty's up. Oh, it's a great mark. He got up high. He took the mark. 
You're looking down here for Kim Green. Uh, too high in the air for that. Nelligan nearly takes it. There's Bobby Green, knocks it out forward. Turnbull kicks it off the ground. Rodney Green uses his body to good effect. And a free kick to Rodney Green. I don't. That's a pretty good, pretty good shepherd. No, I don't think that. He probably deserved it anyway. And he kicks it in to uh, Stephen Pope. There's a quick handball to Grant Nelligan. He'll get around Jolly. He's under pressure now. He's looking for the goals. He's under pressure. Offline. Through for one point. Nineteen minutes gone in the third quarter. Comes out to Tom Phelps. Gets a dribbly old kick into the uh, goals. No. Was it? Goal? Not quite. It was. was a goal. I thought the umpire indicator was touch. So Tom Phelps gets one off the ground. And that uh, gives the Tigers a bit of breathing space. And uh, he has uh, certainly done his job being in that full forward position. A mistake made there by the full back for Yolanda. And... Uh, the Kapini, Kapini player was very uh, quick to capitalise on that mistake. So it's back in the back in the uh, centre of the ground as the umpire taps it down on the ground. It's uh, Marnie against Salem. Comes to ground. Now they're going to be first there, but it's uh, Martin gets a, a, a push forward, but it's on the ground, and the umpire indicates that he will uh, put the ball down and uh, bounce it once again. <laughs> These guys have done a pretty reasonable job, I think. Umpires comes to ground. Proctor gets a hurried kick up to the centre half forwards. It's one on one on battle. Players getting for it. Proctor comes out with it. He's held to him, and uh, the umpire comes in, and uh, he will bounce once again to uh, sort the players out. Wind has dropped a little bit, but it's still uh, favouring that southern in goals. It comes to uh, the Kapini player, but it crossed to Yelena. Uh, and they, they're away again through the agency of Colin Kay. He lines up for the goals. It's doesn't look too bad. Uh, I think it's going to be a mark anyhow as uh, it's Glover who was uh, met uh, by Lyle Phelps and uh, he'd have to be awarded this free kick. He's put him on a fairly tight angle but he's right in the square and he should have no mistake making no mistake in that one and he posts another one to the the uh, Yelena Eagles and they uh, edge just that little bit closer but they are still some just a fraction under three goals uh, behind this could be a very entertaining last quarter as uh, the Yelena side are starting to get their act together I, I believe uh, Kapini have played the best football for the last two and a half quarters and uh, Yolanda are starting to get their act together. They're a very talented side and it's pretty hard to keep them down for, for 120 minutes of a game. They've got too many good players like Phillips, Carr, Proctor, Pearson and if these guys get going, there's no stopping them. Back in the square, it's Marnie, but it's Carr who's starting to get into the game a bit more. But uh, it's first there is Shane Elling. He drops what he should have taken. Comes out to Yolanda play and again to Kay, who's getting his act together to the deadly pierce and he's on his wrong leg. What's he done with this one? Just offline. Just offline. I thought the umpire for a moment was going to put two fingers up too much. <laughs> much to my disappointment if he had it. But uh, this is going to be a cracker jack last quarter. I can see that as the full back in uh, Alan Howe brings a boomer back into the into the play where it's Shane Nelligan it was first in front but he uh, he dropped what he should have taken comes to the centre of the cricket pitch area players come in throwing themselves over it Kay's there, Martin's there everyone's there except uh, uh, that Stephen Pike eventually comes out with a, a clean pick up but it's Yolanda Pla who's coming out with it now Tom Phelps has legged can't get rid of it. Kim Green comes in, barges his way through, and uh, he is ball is pinned to him, and the umpire is right on the scene, and uh, he will uh, bounce the ball at the true centre half forward position. Kim Green had an excellent game. Marnie, sell and contest. No one really wins. It's down on the ground. Kim Green gets handball. It comes straight out to Proctor. Proctor come back to a uh, jolly. A lot of messing around and scrimmagey play there. Very untidy stuff, but uh, it's Butch Phillips gets a hurry kick up to the, the centre wing, but a 
top mark taken by Colin Kay. Colin Kay been very quiet, but he's done some very useful things in the last 10 minutes. He slips over that vault of stars. He gets across to uh, Jolly. Jolly uh, gets the, the ball up to the centre wing, but it's to Kay. He swings and weaves and gets a long handball back to... Uh, uh, is it Jolly? He's met very heavily. And that's Shane Elling will come out to relieve the pressure for the Tigers and uh, the running Kim Green. He's got a good man on him now in Butch Phillips, but uh, Kim Green, casual as ever, gets it across to uh, Grant Nelly. A long handball across to Berg Anderson. He should have no worries in getting rid of this. Comes across to Stephen Pake, but uh, the boundary line far too close for that player. And it beats him out, and there will be a throw in between the forward pocket and uh, the half forward flank. Rodney Green's going to contest this one. I don't know where the Ruckman has gone to, but it's Green again. Butters up, has a snap. I think it's there. Yeah, and Rodney Green has posted his second goal. That was uh, a brilliant piece of football. He done the ruck, he come to ground, he picked it up and he jammed it through the big sticks to post uh, the Tigers' 10th. Uh, so they're going to double figures and uh, we've certainly got a ball game on our hands. Yes, another good snap by Green there. Parsons looks a bit sore there. He landed pretty heavily on his, his rear end there. And back in the centre, it's Marnie and Habner again. Ball on the other side there. Nelligan's there first of the ball. He's back onto his feet again. Gets a kick away now. Looking for Kim Green. There's Phillips and him there. Jolly comes in over the top. What's the other boy going to buy out of that? Well, I suppose one's fair for one. So Phillips has taken the mark. Onto his left. Looking up here for Martin. He gets his big hands around it. He doesn't drop it. Picks her up in one hand. Looking up forward for the co. The co's under the ball. He takes it in front of him. He's played a pretty good game, this boy. Looks in forward for Pearson. He's been pretty quiet, but he's starting to come into the game now. He's probably waking up a bit. Kicks out wide looking for Proctor, and he takes it. And he's well within his kicking distance, I feel. The Eagles need a goal here. We might as well make a game of it. So Proctor lining up. Usually a pretty accurate kick at goals. He stabs at that one though, but he's just missed. Offline, he didn't need to do that. The Eagles needed to go there. So it'll be how. Another big kick. It's a bit wobbly, but he gets it out there. Nelligan reads it off the pack pretty well. Gets a wobbly kick towards the middle. There's no one there. Green's first to it. He taps it in front of him. Jolly's in there amongst it as well. It's Boogie Green there. He knocks it in front of Nelligan here. This is Morris Nelligan. He gets around one. Kicks it out with his left to Anderson. He's way out on his own. He's got a paddock. He runs. He's looking at the goals. Has a kick. He's kicked it off line. And out of bounds on the fall. He's not kicking real well today. It's Anderson. It'll be Norton to bring the ball back in. Right alongside the point post. The southern end. Looking for some movement. Phillips is out there. Jolly moves into the space. Where's he going to go? You're not quite sure. Kicks into the man on the mark. That's out of bounds. The Eagles have been doing this too much today. That's why the Tigers are up. So in the ball comes. There's heaps of blokes around there. Jolly reads it. Gets a quick handball. Habner's first to the ball. He backs up what he's done already. Kicks it forward. Looking for Martin. He takes a mark. Oh, we know. He gets paid anyway. Gets it over to Kay. He's on his own. Now we look upfield. Dropping it across there. Looking for Stephen Glover. He gets it thumped away by Howe. Parsons is up again. Running the ball towards the boundary. And out it goes on the outer side. On the half forward flank for the Eagles. As the ball comes in. On the boundary umpire. Secker. Marty. Shane Elegance picked it up. Gets knocked by Proctor, but still regains his balance. Out and out on the fall. Kay to take the kick. If you're looking for movement from Habner or somebody like that, he's pretty well checked. Habner, Nigel Habner, this is, chips in, takes the mark. Glover's moving quickly up forward there. 
And he takes a good grab. It's good judgment. That was pretty good judgment there by Glover. Our boy's going to bring the man on the mark back. He should be just about to be able to kick this. Here he comes. He's usually a pretty good kick. It's fading across the front. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was just drifting back, but he kicked it. God, I couldn't say it twice in a row. He's a pretty, in a row, he's a pretty good kick, and he misses. But he gets it. So the Eagles get another one back. They move up to 7 8, 44, to 10 5, 65. That can't be right. 50, 50 points. Lucky's a good mathematician, this bloke. Down the ball goes. We've got a ball game on our hand here. Habner and Pike to Carr to Kelly. Here we met heavily. Gets a kick away quick. Proctor and the siren sounds to end the third quarter. I think she'll be a rip snorter in the last quarter. 15 points in it. And what do you think, Mr. Dowdle? <laughs> Yeah, I think we've uh, got a ball game on our hands now, Jaffa. She looks like she could be a cracker jack last quarter, even though this wind has dropped out fairly well, but there's only 15 points of difference, and uh, Yolanda are starting to uh, get their game together, and uh, like I said before, they've got too many brilliant players to keep down for, uh, for the four quarters. <laughs> 30 minutes of the 1987 grand final goes down. Tim Green gets a big thump up to uh, the centre half forward position. Rodney Green gets a quick handball out, but it's Kay. Kay is met strongly by Tim Green. It gets across to Neil Carr. Neil Carr, very cool. Cross to his captain in, in Proctor. Proctor gets a, ball, a loose ball running down to the centre half forward position. Players uh, get rolled in the corner there. But uh, it's uh, Lyle Phelps who oh. kicks it straight to Proctor. Would you believe that? <laughs> and uh, probably one of the best... Um, Goal kickers in the league is uh, about to have a kick, and uh, he would be only about 30 metres out directly in front. It's a nice looking kick, but I think he's just offline. Well offline, I think. A bit of indecision between the umpires. We don't see any. Yeah, I think it's one point. They've, oh, well, they've, they've finally uh, worked that one out, and uh, Yelena bring that deficit down to 14 points and they've only been playing about one minute. Kim Green flies high, can't get it, comes to, to uh, Morris Nelligan, comes to Green again, but it's uh, held to that player, held to that player, and uh, the umpire comes in and he will bounce uh, just uh, back with a centre half forward for the Eagles side. Down goes the bounce, a wobbly old bounce, goes to uh, 43 and Selen, comes up to the Capiti player, kicks it wide, and uh, the ball dribbles out over line on that uh, far side wing where that uh, boundary umpire has had plenty of work to do all day. Samson gets a tap down across to uh, uh, Nelligan, who'd never had the ball, and he was tackled by Proctor, who's not real happy, and uh, he really fires that ball back to him. Morris Nelligan gets a high ball up to uh, uh, Yolanda Player in Jolly, takes the mark, comes across the centre of ground, it's uh, all Yelena, and uh, Colin Kay takes a, a well-judged mark, gets across to Decoe, who uh, play it on, hit the ground, and uh, hit the ground, so it's play on, and uh, Grant Nelligan gets the ball up to you. Uh, Rodney Green, he's going to be put under pressure by Watson, Watson, but it's uh, Glover, comes out and uh, hits him on the knee, and it, it bounces just in front of the boundary line, and there'll be a boundary thrown at uh, just uh, uh, forward of half forward flank for the Tigers. Marnie and Phillips do battle, but it's Norton. Norton will clear for the, the Eagles. Comes up to the centre wing where it's Mark Secker. Takes a good, good strong mark in front of Shane Nelligan. Secker looking for Habner. Misses that play, but it goes out of bounds. And to be thrown at centre half forward on the half forward flank for the Eagles. Umpire relays the ball back into the playing in arena. Comes through is Decoe. Off the ground comes Kim Green. And uh, another throw in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes up from... Uh, 10 metres up from where they uh, last uh, threw in. <laughs> Getting metres and minutes and everything cocked up here. <laughs> Decoe comes in. He's played a, a very good game for you, Lana. But it's uh, Lyle Phelps bursting his way. Gets a handball across to Kim Green. But he's met strongly by Secker. Gets across to the veteran in Herbie Turnbull. Players will fly for it, and it's a, a good uh, 
He uh, edged uh, Nelligan out on that occasion, and it's uh, Neil Carr, 1986 male medalist. He will put the ball right down into the centre half forward position, where it's Glenn Habner, the veteran of many games and many goals. This bike's kick, kicked, and uh, it's uh, not impossible for him, but he's going for a wobble. It's a wobbly old kick, and it wobbly old kick, and it goes up into the arms of uh, Proctor, is it? Pearson. Yeah, he might have been uh, tagged by um, Michael. Held on so Jaffa said, oh, you know, I wouldn't believe anything Jaffa tells me, but the umpire agreed, agreed with him for a change, and Pearson, point blank range, pops it through, and uh, that brings a score <laughs> within, uh, uh, yeah, very bit closer. 56, that's only about eight, nine points, the difference at this stage, and uh, we've only played five, six minutes of this last quarter. So uh, it's Eagles edging their way back and uh, Kapini cannot relax even though they have determined they're going to uh, not let this one slip. After the drubbing they got it in the second semi-final of 96 points and uh, a couple of drubbings through the year. They are after these Eagles feathers on this occasion. Well, the ball's back in the centre. Now the crowd's starting to get a bit fiery. <coughs> the ball's down, Green's into the centre now. He's played a magnificent game. He'd probably be the best on the ground, I feel. Handball's towards his brother. Oh, he's met very heavily. He was met very heavily. It's his grand final football. And it, he has been consistent on those holding the ball's decisions. So it's Kay with the ball. Kay looking forward to Havner over his head. Kelly reads it well off the pack. Puts it out in front of Brian Kay. Beautiful pass. Beautiful mark. And have the Eagles come alive. They've looked a bit sluggish all day. And they've moved the ball really quickly then. This is what we're used to from the Eagles. And the pressure's right on Brian Kay. He's been pretty quiet all day. But he could make a bit of a hero of himself here. Usually a good kick. Don't let me down. Got a bit of zip in their stride now, the Eagles. It was good work there by Kelly. Been crook all week, and he did that well. Kay coming into the game here on, on the wing here. A very legal tackle. There's nothing wrong with a grab around the arms. He met Young Green solidly, but this is grand final football. Do or die. Oh, just a bit of niggling going on here out here between Green and Kay. In the centre to Kay, knocks it forward. Kay there, he's met by Nelligan, but shrugs a tackle. A long kick forward. Bounce beats them all. Habner met heavily by Rodney Green. It's Pearson, handballs back to Brian Kay. A lot of pressure, oh, a bit of a swing there. He hooks it back. And Stephen Glover takes a mark. Eagles are full of run. And Michael Dowdle's gone very quiet. We'll wait to see what happens from this kick. It's only three points in it. He wouldn't want to miss from there or peddler would have him. So the Eagles have hit the front for the first time all day. All the backmen are running down, other than Norton. So the Eagles are full of run. I want the swearing from the box again. We, we haven't heard much from the supporters, but I think they're getting a bit vocal now. They've been pretty quiet, but I can't seem to get a word in it twice. So the ball's back in the centre. They're in front. The Tigers seem to have stopped. Sampson selling. Nobody really wins it. They're in there amongst it again. All fighting for the ball. It's Kay again. He's lifted a bit. Glover dropping back. Phelps here with a thump away. He gets the ball. Dropped it, but no penalised. Turnbull there, knocking forward. It's desperate stuff now. Green's in there again, a wide handball to Phelps. He's cool under pressure, kicks to Nelligan. The Tigers aren't done yet. He handles to Samson. He doesn't know where to go. There's a lot of pressure on him, though. That's good pressure by the Eagles. Proctor doesn't quite get it. Oh, he hasn't quite got it. No, boy, I didn't see it. He's been letting go all day. Nelligan drops what he probably should have had. He'll get round Phillips. He's looking towards the goals. Oh! 
It's an FAD. We'll leave the decision up to everybody else. I know what mine is. I know what my decision is. <laughs> Happens to me many and many times. <laughs> so, Marty could put the Tigers back in front. He wouldn't deserve to do it, though. But he doesn't miss. It's not that brilliant. So he kicks the goal. Fox goes back on the ground for replacement for Kelly. So we have got a game on our hands. What a way to finish the season. Runners and trainers running everywhere. Waiting for the ball to be relayed back to the centre. Crowds are on the edge of their seat. And I've nearly lost mine. The umpires are cruel in the crisis. So the ball about to go down again. Sampson, Salem. Sampson gets it to Proctor. Cars in there. He gets a quick kick away to Coe's there. Tom Phelps meets the ball. He gets it. The Tigers look pretty good at the moment. They're not going to falter. They're full of run at the moment. Parsons looks in field for Pike. A good pass to Pike. He takes it, Mark. They're looking for run. Marty's off on his own. Kicks towards him. It's a good kick. And a 15, mate. A silly play by Norton. Great stuff, Norton. So the Tigers. Come on, Blue. Pick it up. Just steadying a bit, the Tigers. So Marty. Lining up for his second goal in a couple of minutes. Beautiful. And he kicks it. The goal. So the Tigers steadied. The Eagles got in front there. Come on, Blue, pick it up. And we've been going 11 minutes. Seems like 11 hours. We've still got plenty of time left yet. The ball back to the centre. Down it goes again. Can the Eagles lift? Or can the Tigers settle it down and keep it theirs? Samson taps it forward. Phillips meets it. Doesn't take it. It's a lot of desperate stuff there. It's been a desperate game all day. Players throwing themselves in. Pike with a quick handball to Green. A wobbly kick forward. Nort knocks it forward. Here's Michael Green. Gets a quick handball out to Myers. Gets a good bounce, but Glover cool, takes a bounce out of defence. It's bouncing away. Kicks long to the wing, but kicks straight to Rodney Green. Oh, he's going to go down with cramp. No, I think he was just mucking around. <laughs> he's up. He's got another kick. He loves to have a kick or two. Looks in forward for his brother, Kim. And, he, and the Tigers are going to settle the play down a bit. They're not going to be flustered. They're going to settle the game right down. They reckon the Premiership's theirs for the holding. Pike gets up high. Doesn't grab it. Quick handball out to Michael Granny. Under extreme pressure. And the umpire's going to ball up on the other side. Half forward flank. Really exciting stuff here. There's about 13 minutes of the grand final left, uh, gone in this final quarter. Comes down to Stephen Pike, gets a long handball across to Craig Myers. Craig Myers keeps the ball in front of him. He, he dribbles it up to the, the pocket and uh, the umpire comes in and said it's out on the full. So uh, Yelena will kick the ball back in, I guess. 12-5. 10-9, there's not much in it, there's only what, there's only 11 points, 11 points in favour of the Tigers. A top game of footy and we're, we're in for a cracker jack last 10 or 15 minutes of this game to be played. Comes out to the half back, half forward line for the Tigers. The Kapini, Kapini captain gets a kick into the, the true uh, pocket position. Two Yolanda players come in, spoil each other, comes across to Craig Myers. But it's uh, Norton who will relieve the pressure. He gets a wobbly old kick, but it's going to be Michael Green. He slips over at the final moment. He could get the ball out to Steve Myers. Steve Myers, a long handball to Anderson, standing in the pocket in his own. He comes around the corner. What's it going to do? It's going to bounce. No, it's going to bounce over his head, and it goes through for one point. And uh, that uh, 
just uh, uh, it goes to 10 point lead now to the Tigers 10 point lead not to 11 as I said a moment ago Glover will bring the ball back in for the, t for the Eagles nice looking kick off the boot comes across to the uh, far side of the ground tapped on by the Atlanta player but uh, beats all players over on and uh, the band's round pie will throw it in about 14 minutes gone in this uh, last quarter so we've just about completed half the half this last quarter Green gets a handball and he goes to the safety line of that uh, outer side boundary line and uh, there'll be another throw in to take place I thought there for a moment when uh, Colin Kay uh, put that hard tackle on that uh, Kapini player that the, the Eagles were really going to walk away with this game but true to the uh, good uh, good position of the Tigers uh, they have uh, come back but it's uh, Saku who gets the mark uh, kick down and it's Glennie Habner at centre half forward as Jaffa just about falls off his seat and uh, Habner will just about uh, kick it from there he's a, usually a pretty good kick Glenn Habner he's kicked a lot of goals in his day and he's uh, and looks a lovely looking kick off the boot and he's poked that one through and she's four points the difference again four points at the 15 minute mark of the 1987 grand final That's having a second goal. The leading goal kicker for you, Lana, has been uh, Stephen Glover with four, Habner with two, and uh, one each to Co. Segger, that's Mark Segger, Neville Phillips, and Rodney Pearson. Down goes the bounce. Samson opposed to Salem. Comes to ground. Handball comes out to Grant Nelligan. He gets a handball across to no one in particular, but it's kicked off the ground by Michael Green. Gets a gets it up to Stephen Pike, gets a long handball into the full forward position Myers across to Parsons Parsons snaps it and he's gold it Paul Parsons lovely work there by Myers and Marnie and Paul Parsi and has drilled that one and he has put the, the lead back to 10 points, well done well done Paul Parsons yes good football by the Tigers are settling We have a top game of football on here. What a way to finish the season, as I've said before. Great game of football. Just waiting, waiting for the ball to come back to the, to the centre. Can the Eagles get a couple? Can the Tigers settle? Waiting, Phillips into the ruck now. Phillips against Sampson. Sampson, quick tap wide. Kay bursts through. He's running through quickly. Only kicks as far as Rodney Green. He takes a bounce. Oh, he gets clobbered. He was under a lot of pressure. Martin's out there. He uses his pace, gets a quick handball forward. As far as Glenny Habner, oh, he's caught quick. There's a lot of desperate stuff out there. To Martin, he knocks forward only as far as Green. Cool. Yes, very cool. And kicks straight into Grant Nelligan. He kicks back towards Bobby Green, and they are settling down the Tigers. The Eagles want to move it on quick though. They want to get up and get a couple of goals. Kicks in as far as his brother Kim, and he holds up the ball. Long kick. In they go, Nelligan's on the ground, he's caught. Umpire says play on it, and he reckons he'll, he reckons he'll ball it up. Probably the wisest decision he's made all day. Down the ball goes. Phillips and Sampson, neither one wins it convincingly. Jolly tries to barge his way through. Scrambly football. Jolly's still in there with it again. Ball runs loose. Jolly was tackled a bit high. Took a long time to make the decision. But it was probably the right one. Jolly. Looking to the centre. They all fly. No one can grab it. Habner's first on the ball. Tackled really quick. And the umpire said he threw it out. Nelligan. Grant Nelligan, steadying play down. 
Doesn't know where to go. Oh, he decided to go on the outer side. Oh, towards Myers. He takes the mark. Tigers settling down. Kicks forward, looking for Parsons. Ball bounces. Scrambly play out there on the outer side. No one can get it cleanly. Now by decided to bounce it again. Ten points in it. The Tigers up. What a game of football we've had. Down the ball goes. Phillips, Marnie. Phillips knocks it to Proctor. He's caught. It's more scrambling football. It's turning into a scrambling game here at the moment. Proctor's got cramped by the look of it. He's going to get up and he's going to keep going, he reckons. So down the ball goes again. Phillips and Marnie. Phillips knocks it wide towards the boundary. Proctor on one leg. Gets a long handball towards Fox. He taps it back over his head. Pake falls over at the wrong time. Jolly couldn't get it. It's a push and Fox receives the free. Fox looking into the centre. Kicking towards Peter Glover. Kay's in there as well. He didn't gather the ball in. He's back on it now though. Ball's knocked in the open. Norton's there. He's caught. Didn't quite impede him. Nelligan's tackled straight as soon as he gets a ball. Scrambly play again. Stupid. The umpire decides he'll ball it up again. Becoming pretty scrambly now. Desperation football. Phillips Sampson throwing themselves at the ball. All these players. Car twists and turns, doesn't get it anywhere. Out in the open, Morris Delegant tries to get it, gets a free for a push. And even Michael Dowdle said that one was lucky. They were both throwing themselves at the body. Kicks out wide to Bobby Green. Green hooks it back, looking for Parsons, only a small little bloke. Great judgment, takes it on his chest. Chest. He'll settle the play down. Possession football. Kicks up looking for the high flyers. It was Jolly that took the mark. So it'll be Jolly. Looking upfield. Kicks into Carr, but Coe gets a quick handball to Phillips. Phillips with a big left foot kick. Phelps nearly takes a grab. Recovers well. He's caught quickly, though. Capini everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh. Nelligan fumbles. Shouldn't have. Pressure's on out there, though. Fox is in there trying to break free. Get a handball as far as a Capini player. Turnbull. Phelps, I should mean. Pike, Pike takes a double grabber. Kept his eye on the ball. And away he goes. One bounce. A long kick. Well, he wanted it to be, but it wasn't. To Peter Glover. He kicks out long to the middle. That's where the Capinis are. Lay him up it between them. Proctor's there, kicks forward, looking for Secker. He drives at the umpire. Umpire plays it on. No one's chasing. And Capini said all. There's a lot of discrepancy here amongst the crowd, but the umpire thinks he's in control. The kick up goes up forward, and Myers takes a mark. Wasn't that great, but it was a mark. Myers kicks in, and Norton takes a, a great mark on his chest. Norton kicks long. Back into Capini territory, that's all that's there. They're blocking the ball in there across half forward. Green gets around with brilliance. Long kick forward, looking for Anderson. He flies, but Norton takes a good mark. Norton gets 15. The Sampire likes his 15s, but he's a bit inconsistent with them, I feel. He kicks out towards Kay and Nelligan. Now we got Habner. The K knocks it forward towards Glover. It's going to be... Oh, Glover gets a better of the bounce. The Eagles are away here, kicking out in front of Habner. He makes ground and takes a mark on his chest. Too quick for Herbie Turnbull. Kicks in, looking for Pearson. Oh, it was a funny decision here, I think. I don't know what he's done. He's given Proctor a free down the ground against Green. No one could see it, no one can believe it. But if he kicks a goal, the Eagles fans will. 
I didn't see what happened. He was hanging on to him, was he? And he's jagged it. That's a goal. Well, Mr. Dowdle must have seen it. He's played a bit of football in his time and done a bit of hanging on. <laughs> so, it's four points again. Can the Tigers fire out the centre again like they did before? Kick a goal and settle. And we've played 24 minutes of football. So if the Eagles get up, what a win. The Tigers would probably be disappointed if they lost it. Nearly get out wide, looking for Myers. He's got the legs and he takes it. He'll settle, I feel. He's out on the other side. Kicks forward. It's a high kick. The Flyers will be up. Three Eagles punch it forward. Proctor's on the ground. Oh, he threw that away. Good tackle. Good tackle by Green. And he'll make no hurry about it. He'll take his time. Uh, four points up. Why should he hurry? Sees the lead. It's possession football. Oh, he slips over. Parsons slips over and Jolly on, takes some up. Kicks in towards the centre to Carr. Now yeah, they want movement up forward, the Eagles. Carr gets around some. Oh, it's an awkward looking kick. Kay takes a mark. He was going to use a handball, but Nelligan was too rude for that. Kay kicks in field, looking for the Kay, but Green Good chips mark. in. He looks over his shoulder, gets a quick kick away, and it'll oh. hurry to find Brian Kay. The Eagles want movement. Kicks into Phillips. The Phillips, no doubt, will kick a big one. Here he goes. Big screwy. There'll be flyers everywhere. Come on. The penny players everywhere, they're going back towards the centre. Come on. Out wide to Green. He's going to wait for it to bounce up. He'll get around Jolly. No, he won't. He gets a handball, though. Pace is settled right down. He's Nelligan's clobbered. That's got to be holding the ball. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, that's the decision of the umpire. Phillips. Knocks it backwards, Jolly misses it. There'll be a thump on forward here. Pike can't quite pick it up. Kay's out in his own here. Kicks around the corner. Come on. A bounce. Come on. Skulls house there. No one can pick it up except for Shane Nilligan. He kicks it high. The Flyers again. Good mark. It's Samson. Samson. Beautiful mark. A good mark. Still four points in it. He's taking his time. Oh, he's going to use a handball here. Not a reliable kick. Green with a wobbly screwy and straight to Peter Glover. Glover, indecided where to go. Kicks around to Kay. Uh, to Carr. Carr. The long kick looking upfield for somebody. There's a lot of scrimmaging going on here, but the Tigers kick it out towards Green. He marks. The Eagles can't get it past half forward. The Tigers' defence, very solid. Green going in, looking for Pike. It's too far for him. Two Eagles players spoil each other. Kay's in there as well. Gets a handball over to Brian Kay. Short kick to Secca. Quick handball to oh, Pearson. The Eagles are running out in front. No one there. But Turnbull. The bounce beats him. Oh, it's a tap over to Hamner. If he kicks it, he'll be a hero. He kicks it. It's a goal! The Eagles have hit the front. Well, do we want the siren? Well, that was lucky football. Magnificent work by Martin, I think, who tapped the ball over to Hamner. What a hero he'll be. Well, can the Tigers get back onto this? Come on, you go! I think everybody's heart is sitting in their mouths. But being a Harris, mine's not because you can't shut us up. On, Michael Dowdle stuck for words. We want this one. Hit the Eagles it. fans want it. The Tigers Hit fans it. want it. All you've got this time, you fellas. We'll see what happens. Phillips, Samson. Come on, now. Up they go to Nelligan. The Can runs off of Nelligan. Oh, it's desperate stuff now. Oh, somebody's down in the middle. That's Samson, I think. 
And there's a big scrimmage on the cricket pitch, which will be used not Come too on, far boys. away. That siren will be a good sound, I reckon. Samson's down, I feel. The Anderson into Ruck, I think. Phillips. Can the Eagles win it for him for his male medal? A knockdown, K. Oh, he's jagged down as far as Shane Elligan. This desperate football here to Carr. And he should hold it up, I feel. He's holding up. This is a great football match. Kicks out wide. Too far for Pearson. No, he drops it. Phelps is in there. He can't get the handle out, but knocked out towards Nelligan. Nelligan. Plenty of run. Looking forward. Kicked in quite fine position. It's a handball to Kay. He's come into the game in the last half. Kicks forward to the Co. He marks. Looks casual. Bristle to Co. He looks for Habner. And he marks. Well, a couple of the old timers. Do it well. Bristle to Co. And Needle knows Habner. Samson looks a bit hurt here. He's an ambulance job. Poor chap, he's played a marvellous game. Now Havner, oh, he's missed that one. Bad miss. Could have sealed the game, I feel. Can the Eagles keep the ball down there? 30 minutes is due to go in about three or four minutes' time. <laughs> How to bring it in. We went up this time. The flyers are up, they're everywhere, no one can get a hand to it. The co throws himself at the ball. Scramly play. I think he'll have to bowl it up. There'll be some tired bodies after today. Thanks, Jeff. Hang, hand it back when the uh, time's about, I'd say, played 30 odd minutes of time in the 1987 grand final. Uh, it looks a bit like uh, the Eagles are going to hold on to this one. Unfortunately, I believe uh, the Tigers have played the better footy all day, but you can't keep a good side down like Yelena for four quarters. And there's that man. There's that man. You can't keep him down. Old Glennie Habner. He's played more football than probably half the other side put together. And uh, he's going to line this one up. And uh, there should be no doubt that uh, this one will seal. Well, there you heard it. You've heard it. There goes the buzzer to end the 1987 grand final. And, uh, and, uh, and he the, the, Yolanda have kicked that goal. And, uh, and goal. so she's all over. She's nine points. She's a nine point win. Ten points. Oh. So, uh, unfortunately, for the Tigers, that, was a, that must be a, a disappointment for them. Uh, a bit like uh, the Hawthorne Melbourne game. They went in as underdogs and by hell they didn't disgrace themselves. It was only the 10 uh, finished up finished up 10 points uh, and, uh, and an excellent game of football. It was hot and blusty for a start but it did cool off in the finish and uh, the final scores uh, Yelena finished out 13 goals, 10, 94 defeating the, the Kapini Tigers an unfortunate Kapini Tiger 13-6, no, 84 just running through the goal kickers uh, the top goal kicker for Yelana was Stephen Glover with 4 uh, Glennie Haben with 4 also uh, Phillips with 1, Pearson 1 Deco 1, Saka 1 and their captain Ian Proctor also 1 whereas the Tigers was uh, Neil Phelps with 4 Mark Marnie 3 two each to Rodney Green, Kim Green and one to Paul Parsons and uh, Grant Nelligan. Final scores once again 14-10, 94 to Kapini, 13-6, 84.
To the United Joanna side of an arvless game, Tony, under very adverse conditions. How did you see the game as a whole from your point of view as the winning coach? Uh, well done, I suppose, to start with the day. Um, uh, before the game, a few of our guys uh, rather light-heartedly said that there's no way no one that even front up for a cricket match, and uh, the guys that said that are, are uh, genuine um, dinky die cricketers. So the weather was very, very inclement, uh, hot north wind, um, and it certainly took the toll uh, towards the end of the game on, on all players on the ground. Very true, Tony. 35 degrees to go. I thought the winning move was perhaps the move of Neville Phillips, the mile medalist, into the centre, perhaps the 18 or 19 minute mark of the quarter. Thought you might have left it a bit late, but it turned out a winner for you. Got the few hit outs? Yeah, he's, he is inspirational, and uh, we were working to a plan, and I suppose sometimes plans don't work, and it, it wasn't working well enough. And we had to use him again, and uh, he was pretty determined to, to do well in this game. Um, had a lot at stake and had something to prove. Being the male medalist, I suppose. Uh, uh, he's been there before and done that, so the pressure wasn't all that great, but he's getting near the end of his career, and it was good to see him do well. Stephen Glover's game on the wing, thought a marvellous performance in the first half, especially when you were battling for good players. Yeah, I thought uh, Stephen, when he went from, uh, he was on the flank actually, uh, on the, uh, roving, and then we stuck him to the centre half forward after half time, and I thought his third quarter kept us in the game, and then again in the last quarter, he, um, he was uh, certainly, I think he was probably the guy that lifted us earlier on in the game. Very true, Tony. Something the players and yourself remember for the rest of your lives, winning under these sort of conditions? Well, last year we had the fortune to win and uh, we won a lot more comfortably than this. Today, uh, I feel for Snake a bit. They were in front all day uh, and I guess we just hung in there and hung in there and kept working and, uh, and made, made things work for us in the end and we got in front, to, we were only in front twice for the day, uh, probably at the 25 minute mark and at the 31 minute mark and I guess, yeah, you always remember those, the games. Thank you, Tony. Go and enjoy it with your players. Thank you very much. Thanks, Losing coach, Peter, bad luck. That's the game of football. You haven't won it until you got it on the board, have you? Thank you, Don, for the uh, comments, kind uh, about our side. Um, the uh, pressure of the game, I feel, in the last few minutes, got to us, but that is understandable in the uh, conditions that we had today because... Uh, uh, as Tony mentioned before, those suited for cricket rather than, than football. And uh, it's a, a credit to the uh, association and that was well organised and, and well umpired under towering conditions. And uh, I think that basically sums up my general thoughts. Uh, my players, uh, I'd give them a, a lot of praise for their... Uh, relentless efforts under the, the heat and uh, I'd say that uh, Yelena uh, takes good sides to come back in those conditions and Yelena are a good side. Kim Green's game I thought Peter either at centre half forward or loose in the back line the second quarter, superb game from Kim. Yes, Kim is uh, a very dedicated footballer 
uh, he's a very fair footballer and uh, Kim Green uh, probably hasn't reached the height of his career yet but he's an excellent footballer. Grant Nelligan in the centre I thought played well, how did you see his game? I thought Grant uh, was was an inspiration to the to the club. Uh, the way he relentlessly pursued the ball and was prepared to run with it and take the hits that came his way. And uh, yeah, Grant uh, uh, excelled also. So, in summing up, Peter, you think probably just a little bit more experience in those last few minutes under trying conditions and the use of the ball. Yes, I, I think that's understandable and I'd agree with those comments, Don, yeah. Thank you, Peter. Go and commiserate and well coached and there's not much in the game and a marvellous grand final and a marvellous entertainment for the ground. Thank you very much, Peter. Thanks, Don. Due to go.